Here is Jack. Jack has a ladder. For some reason, Jack is trying to fit his ladder inside his barn, but unfortunately for him, the ladder at rest is longer than the barn at rest. However, Jack knows a thing or two about relativity, and he knows that moving objects will contract in their direction of motion. So he shoots off toward the barn at some very high velocity, and now the contracted ladder fits completely in the barn. So if the doors close simultaneously while the ladder is inside, the ladder will remain unaffected. However, remember that length contraction is symmetric. So in Jack's reference frame, it is the barn that contracts. So when the doors close, it's bad news for the ladder. So in the barn frame, the ladder remains intact, whereas in Jack's frame, it gets cut. Well, it looks like we have a paradox in our hands. But of course, it turns out that this is not a paradox at all, and the solution lies in the relativity of simultaneity, which we explored in a previous video. So, if we have a flash of light originating in the middle of some moving train, in the train's frame, the rays hit the ends of the train simultaneously, whereas in the ground frame, they reach at different times. So, simultaneity depends on your reference frame. So here, even though the doors close at the same time in the barn's frame, they will close at different times in Jack's frame, in such a way that the ladder also remains unaffected in Jack's frame. Now I can see how this works with a concrete example. So imagine we have some kind of sensor that detects the presence of a ladder, and when the front of the ladder reaches the sensor, a flash of light is emitted from the center of the barn, and when the rays hit each end of the barn, it triggers the closing and opening of each door, which we can treat as a single event here. So how does this look in Jack's frame? Well, now it's the barn that moves and contracts, and as we can see, purely intuitively, how the doors do not close simultaneously due to the different paths of the light rays. And since the doors do not close simultaneously, the ladder never gets cut, even though it is longer than the barn in Jack's rest frame. Now, of course, another interesting question is, what will happen if the ladder is stopped inside the barn? Will it still fit? Well, of course, since now it is no longer contracted, it won't fit, unless it is somehow mechanically compressed. But that requires a discussion about the rigidity of the ladder and so on, which I won't go into for now.